Hello and welcome to this episode of Microchips and today we're going to be pushing the WLED 0.14 software to the limit with 1024 LEDs. So anyway, before we start, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment and let's get started. So the project for today is we're going to do something with our 16x16 16 panels. So we've got a piece of cardboard and we've sprayed it black just so it makes it look nice just any old black paint nothing special cut some holes in it for the wires on the back of the panels it's nice and sturdy so should be okay and there's our panels attached to the um, cardboard as you can see there's quite a lot of them and there's our wires coming through the back. So we need to daisy chain the panels and make a decent power connection for them. So that's them temporarily daisy chained together. Luckily they all come with plugs on so it's nice and easy. And using a bit of nice gauge wire we've daisy chained the power together. So we can get a decent supply to them. So, using my LED controller, as seen in other videos, let's fire it up. So first off, we need to find out the orientation, find out where LED number one is. So, in LED and hardware setup, we are going to set the string length to one. This will tell us where LED number one is, and which we can work off. So we turn it on, and as we can see, LED number one top left so we can use that in our configuration now we know these panels are a bit strange from last time so first off let's set the length so 1024 and we get a warning use less than 800 LEDs for the best experience well we're going to use 1024 and see how it goes might as well push it to the limit so once we've done that the panel comes on and the first section illuminates so that's a good start but we need to go a little bit further than that in the configuration so we'll go back into um, 2d configuration and we need to do something with this so you can see that the n number is incorrect so we need to set this correctly so we need to set the width so that's 64 and the height being 16 and we change that and the panel comes on so let's do some tests so just whilst we're on a static color quickly changing the color okay everything's working nicely there we have full control over the panel very nice I've got to turn the brightness down a bit because this thing draws a ridiculous amount of current but something's not quite right something's not quite right some of the effects kind of look okay but we know that that Akemi one should be a dancing LED so we have an issue so all we had to do was make sure serpentine was switched on which was specific for this type of panel and now we have a positive result so just using the scrolling text put some custom text in and boom there it is very nice so that's all working as intended so we can adjust the effect speed can adjust the font size it's all looking very good it's all looking very 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 good indeed if you actually do rotate you can actually have it in um, portrait mode as well which is interesting you put trails on it as well so see my other videos for the how to set the serpentine up and what have you so now we've got it all going let's have a look at some of these effects so first off to our dancing led and yes perfect so we know we have correct control over the panel so there's some really really good effects on here 
So what we'll do is we'll go on to full screen and we'll have a look at some of these effects. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this short video on WLED 0.14. Don't forget to like, subscribe, join the Facebook group, buy me a coffee, join Patreon, share, make a comment, all that. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in another episode.